Mr. Santiago's favorite projects in his class, which is this is a serving tray. Yes. We're going to be making it out of wood. Uh, this is poplar, one of my favorite woods. It's super yes. uh, inexpensive. Yes. Actually, it's poplar and white oak, two of the best woods to start with. If you're a DIYer, it's mm -hmm. easy to work with. It's hard, easy and to pine. stain. And it's, and it's affordable. And it's affordable. Very and you can get anywhere. That's awesome. Absolutely. So we're going to start with, with safety, obviously. Got Mr. It. Santiago. I already have my glasses on. He I was excited. He has glasses, but he's going to wear some more. So, right. Mine are a little different because mine have to fit over my glasses. That's right. And students, and we have a, a group here. Let's go ahead and get safe. One, Excellent. Uh, one Just of the biggest things when you're doing a project is you want to be safe and you want to be awesome. comfortable. We're going to start with sanding. You guys have probably Absolutely. all sanded before. This is sandpaper. You guys have some wooden blocks around you. Actually, Jose, he's got a sanding sponge, one of my so favorite things different. to use. Rachel, we've given you a sanding block, which is basically just sandpaper over a kind of more of an ergonomic handle. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do. You want to make sure that you go with the grain or Always. against the grain. So when you think about, when you're talking about the grain, it's like you go into the barbershop or getting a haircut. When you go up in this direction, you're going against the grain of your hair. Right. But when you go this about. direction. Uh, he doesn't know what he's Jim talking can't about. Help, uh, he understands. <laughs> um, you're going to go with the grain. So it's That's the right. same thing like wood, just like just a little bit of science. It's the way the wood grows in the grain. So this way, this is rather along than this the way. grain. Right, because if you scratch it and when you stain it, it's going to show all it's your infections. Show. So go ahead and grab your sandpaper, get to sanding on your sanding All block, right. remember go with the grain so the, the grain. length so remember, of the, the lines. Remember, you want to feel a little fibers, you want to feel the hair, right. so you just want to go along. Okay, now one thing that's important if you're thinking about a project to do, you want to make sure it's practical. This is a serving tray. A lot of things that people make that are DIY, they're like, hmm, what's a project that I could do? Maybe it's purposeless or maybe what? it's just going to get put on and a you shelf. you keep it. I like doing one that you're going to use immediately. More than one. It gives Absolutely. it purpose and it, it lets you put it into action right away. Now, next Next up is fastening together. You can use yes. screws, but nailing. Who knows how to nail and how to use a hammer? Does this scare anybody? A no, but it sure. makes me really excited to hit something. There's actually a technique to this, right? So the most common type of hammer, this is a 16-ounce curved claw hammer. Right. The curve is either a flat or it's a curve which allows you to get nails out. Now, 16 ounces, face. anything more than this is just too heavy. I also recommend if you're going to get your first hammer, get a smooth face, yep. not a waffle face that looks like an ice cream cone. That's going to mar up the wood. This keeps it nice Why and do you even need a waffle face hammer? It helps grab a framing nail. Right. So if you're, if you're, oh. when you're swinging really hard, uh, it allows it not to lance off. I got gotcha. you. So what we're going to do Here we go. Um, is we're going to actually start by holding the nail. Now, Rachel, do you know the difference? Should we hold it right by the wood or should we hold it up by the head? Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to start setting this nail here. Right by the wood so you don't hit your finger, I would hope. Well, so that's what everybody thinks. It's actually the it's opposite counter of that. Counterintuitive. It's counterintuitive. If you that's think right. about it and you miss, which even the best of us miss the, the nail head on occasion. I missed this morning. If, you're, if your fingers are all the way down by the wood, there is no room for deceleration. I you are just going see. to smash it. You are going to crush your that's number. Right. And it, and it kind of moves <laughs> it around a little bit, okay, right? I so actually, it. if you move it up here, this allows you to do it. Now, what you want to do is you, you want to hold the hammer more Base towards the, the end. There's a nice Opposite little lift. Knife. Yeah, don't right? choke the hammer, guys. That's don't, right. Don't choke. Right. And you okay. want it nice and loose. Get your wrist into it a little bit. And this is, I, I kind of uh, I liken it to snow skiing. If you're very timid when you're snow skiing, you're not going to be very good at oh, it. I'm not timid. If you're, if you're timid with your hammer, you're not going to be very good at it. You right. have to be confident. But what you need to do is focus on the nail head, not the hammer. Watch what you're doing. Right. You Hold it the here. Nail, set it. That's right. And set just, shots, just, just get it started. Perfect. And you notice, uh, let's watch uh, Jose so get what it we're started. doing is, now I already got the nail set. It's not going to move. If go. I hit it, it's not going to fly off. I'm a little crooked. That's all right. That's all right. Straight down. Get it back. That's perfect. Uh, next That's up is the finish, right? That's right? So any great woodworking project has to have a protective coating. So this could be paint. In this case, a nice wood stain. We're going to use a cloth and we're going to wipe it on and wipe it off. It allows right. us to control the amount that's going on there. Oh, and get a anybody much saw Karate finish. Kid knows how to do this. Exactly. Wax on and wax off. Wax that's on right. and wax off. Get it into the fire. That's perfect. That's it. So you see what's happening here. Uh, I like to let it dry a little bit. Add another coat if you want a little bit more color. And then we're going to finish it off with a finish. You can use a poly urethane, but if you're going to be using something like a kitchen we tray, want a food safe we sealer. want a food safe stain or right. a finish. Or something a butcher's like, wax. Something like a beeswax. All right, let's show them the ta-da. Okay, so, so here we are. This is the one that was made. This is what we could do, and we can embellish it with a couple up. of different I'm uh, leather so handles. Lie. I'm going to I'm take this home, tell my husband <laughs> I made this in class. Leather handles. I love this. I love with the little leather strap thing. Oh! That's Time's it. up. That's it. That's well, it. Mr. Santiago, we wanted to have a little thank you gift for you, Jose. So our friends at Lowe's who support skilled trades want to hook up your classroom with $2,500, a gift card, awesome. to get whatever you need.